Christine finds a crate next to a dumpster, breaks into tears when she saw what was hidden inside. Curiosity is the sole reason why civilization is the way it is today. When we walk out of our houses, every now and then there's at least one thing that catches our attention. But how many times has it happened that while driving or walking down the lane, something caught your eye, and it makes you stop then and there? Not a daily thing to happen, right? When a 16-year-old noticed a crate, at least that's what she thought it to be. She had a strong gut feeling that something wasn't right, and she went to take a look, unaware that the later discovery will leave her with tears. A couple of weeks after their exams were over, the girls deserved some time to chill and gossip about what was going on that summer. A bunch of teens was trying to convince their parents to allow them for a night out at their friend's place whose parents weren't home. After a lot of requests, their parents finally gave up and the girls were granted a night of their own. Yes, with a list of restrictions. Savannah Minter, a 16-year-old teen, was all set for fun with her friends. She already had her mother's permission for a night out at her friend's place. So the plan was to pick up her good friend, Ivy, who lived in the nearby apartments and then go straight to her friend's place whose parents were out of town. In the month of July, it was one summer night when all these girls left not even a single reason to make it a memorable night. Their favorite movies, lots of popcorns, and more. Nights out are one important part of everyone's childhood. One can never forget it, unless suffering from amnesia, of course. But little did Savannah know that she will be returning home with much more than her last night out experiences. Their night was sleepless with a couple of movies and gossip. The girls woke up past the afternoon that Sunday. The first thing they did was to call their homes to tell where they have been all this time. After having an amazing time with their friends, it was time to head home. Savannah and her friend Ivy were supposed to go home together. Savannah was going to drop Ivy on her way home. Savannah dropped Ivy outside her apartment building where they stood for a while and talked before bidding by. When she looked at Ivy entering her building, something strange caught her eye at the corner of the building. It gave a spark to her curiosity and she wanted to know what it was. But why would she be so interested in whatever lied in the corner of the building? It was the dumping area that caught Savannah's attention. She knew something about it was weird and she needed to get a closer look at it. Now you might be thinking, that what was the big deal? She could have just gone inside to check, right? Yes, Savannah was curious, but she knew it wouldn't be easy for her to go and check on what this thing was. There were two big reasons behind it. Despite the reasons that were stopping her curious mind, she was ready to go ahead. But what in the world can stop someone from checking what lies in a dustbin other than hygiene? The first issue was that she was getting late. She was supposed to be home that morning and it was already past seven in the evening. A night out lasted for way too long, that even after the night was over and the next day was also about to end, her mother was angry and wanted her to come home as quickly as possible. As if this wasn't enough, that there was a second obstacle in her way to knowing a disturbing truth. Savannah called her mother and said she dropped Ivy home and now she'll be home in 30 minutes, as she got something on the way. Her mother, who was already disappointed with Savannah's irresponsible behavior, questioned why she was taking so long. The answer was quite unexpected. Savannah said that something just happened and it might take her a bit longer to reach home. Her mother was surprised to see her daughter's confidence. What was it that made Savannah argue with her mother too? Savannah further added that her mother should trust her and that she'll be telling the whole story when she reaches home. Her mother knew that Savannah never gives excuses and trusted her daughter. She hung up after telling her to take care and home soon. With this one trouble ended between the teen and the discovery about the biggest trouble was yet to be accomplished. Well, the second problem was that Savannah's friend Ivy lived in a typical posh apartment where nobody was allowed unless the guards certain about their identity. Savannah asked the guard to let her in, but how could she? She didn't live in that building after all. Savannah emphasized that she just dropped her friend off who lived in the building right in front of the guard, but he denied for an obvious reason. What was this obvious reason anyway? Even Savannah wanted to know. She wasn't supposed to get inside the building premises as she didn't live there, but she needed to check on what it was anyway. 
the guard told Savannah that it was his first day at this job and he could not be lenient with anyone. So will this stop the young teen from unraveling the truth that lied in that dumpster? Savannah tried to explain to the guard that she wasn't trying to get inside the building. Rather, she needed to check on something that caught her eye at the corner of the building. The guard tried to explain his part that he couldn't allow her in the building premises. And it is not allowed, and this minor mistake might cost him his job. Now Savannah grew impatient. When the guard wasn't ready to help her, Savannah called Ivy. Her friend was confused when Savannah asked her to talk to the guard as she wanted to get inside of the community area. According to Ivy, Savannah should have been halfway to her home by now. Why was she still standing in front of her building and why did she want to get inside the building? Ivy had so many questions. The biggest of all, wasn't Savannah getting late for home? Savannah, on the other hand, was getting angry with the guard. Her voice was a bit loud when she called Ivy and told her to get downstairs right away. Ivy, who couldn't understand what the guard did to make Savannah so angry, did as she was told. The guard didn't want to create any scene on this first day of the job. He was trying to calm down the agitated teen, but it seemed a complicated situation to handle. He couldn't allow a stranger in, and he was just trying to do his job. Ivy rushed downstairs trying to know what this whole thing was about. When she arrived at the main door, she noticed that Savannah was arguing with the guard to let her in who has specified in a low tone that it is not possible for him to allow anyone in without permission from any one of the residents. Ivy told the guard that she is her friend and to let her in. The guard followed the instructions and Savannah got her car inside the building premises and parked it. Before Ivy could even ask what was wrong, Savannah ran towards the building. Ivy didn't know how to react to this. What was it that her friend was up to? As she had never behaved this weirdly before, Ivy followed her anyway. While Ivy kept on questioning her friend, Savannah just said she noticed something from afar and she wants to take a look at it. Ivy thought she misheard her friend and asked her again. Indeed, Savannah was there to look for something inside the garbage. Ivy was speechless about Savannah's actions, who was at least bothered by what anyone was thinking of her. While Savannah picked up a crate that was lying in the middle of two large dumpsters, she asked her friend Ivy to bring her the torch from the front door of the car. Ivy did as she was asked, even though she was furious to understand the true thing. The things started to get clear when Ivy put the torch light on the crate. When the object that Savannah was carrying came in light, it became clear that it was no crate but a cage. What made the girls even more puzzled was the fact that something inside this cage was moving. Somehow they landed in the right place at the right time, wondering how? Savannah recalled in an interview that after looking at what was inside the cage, I freaked out. I was on the phone with one of my friends and I was like, oh my gosh. Her reaction was not at all surprising as her friend Ivy, too, was shocked that someone actually took such a cold-hearted step. Whatever Savannah Minter saw in a crate next to an apartment complex's dumpster brought her into tears. The girls knew they could not leave it there. Savannah called her mother and informed her that she will not be coming home alone. That evening, Savannah found five teeny tiny chihuahuas. They were put in a small cage like a crate. It was too distressing for the teen girl. Tears floated out of her eyes. Ivy tried to console her. What the teen was unable to understand was how can someone be so cruel and disheartened towards these innocent creatures? Savannah was just a student and not a vet. Even though she could understand that these babies weren't healthy, they needed immediate medical help. Their hair was filled with fleas and ticks. Also, they had injuries possibly due to staying closely intact inside the cage. Savannah recalled telling her friend, I'm not gonna leave them here. It's night and that's cruel. So I put them in the back of my car and I took them home. She was not sure how her mother will be reacting to her decision, but she was ready to take a stand for the poor babies. As it was Sunday, the vet's place was closed and Savannah had to take care of these animals all by herself. She managed to talk her mother into it and finally her relatives and friends came in for help. On Monday morning, the first thing she did was take them to the vet where she got the terrible news. After completing the examination, the vet told Savannah that these dogs have been in the cage throughout their lives. Savannah knew that it was her responsibility to give them a bright future. She knew that they needed proper love and care, and they deserved it. 
While Savannah was busy caring for these chihuahuas, her mother and friends came up with an incredible idea. They advised her to put on their story on the Nextdoor app. This app was proved successful in connecting locals and keeping them updated with all the updates and news of the city. They were hoping to find homes for these babies through the app. Savannah gave Nextdoor app a try and posted the information along with these dogs' pictures, and she was overwhelmed with the response that she received. People wanted to help. Her inbox had so many messages from people who wanted to help these chihuahuas. Jenny Perez, a lady who came in to help the teens, said, We've gotten flooded with responses from people who now have fostered them or taken them for their forever homes. A couple of these chihuahuas were suffering from hernia and they needed to get this treated. Emma, the chihuahua, was in worse condition and her health was deteriorating day by day. She too suffered from a hernia, but she was lucky enough that, for her funds, were raised on time and she was the first one to be treated. It all happened with the help of a worried couple who wanted to do anything and everything in their hands to save these chihuahuas' lives. They took care of Emma's treatment and paid for it. They even took the responsibility of Emma till the time she becomes healthy. All the dogs find a wonderful family. There was one chihuahua who suffered from a muscle disorder and was unable to walk properly. A kind-hearted family came in to take the responsibility of this little one, while only one left behind. While all the other chihuahuas were taken care of, there was one left with no one to look after. Emma was the only chihuahua who wasn't adopted by anyone for a long time. She was still living with her foster parents. Will she ever get a forever home? Obviously, all the families who adopted these babies were thankful to Savannah, who took a step ahead and save these babies' lives, who were now making several homes a better place. Savannah was glad that she was able to do something for the Chihuahuas, but the only one left behind still was her major concern. The state of Texas has laws for people who abandon their pooches. Sadly, nobody could tell who left these babies in the dumpster to die. While people take such cruel measures to get rid of their responsibilities, the people who helped in raising funds prove that there's still hope and goodness. Ohio Attorney General local law enforcement is looking into the case. So far, no one is arrested as there's not even a single clue about who had done this. Still, Savannah found her peace with the fact that at least the dogs are now safe. At last, Emma was also adopted. This was one big day for Savannah, a day worth celebrating. Now she tries to raise awareness about animals and their care and how they deserve to be treated as our family member, not a toy that can be abandoned at any time.